What is up peeps? Today I'm going to do uh, an unboxing with you and a tutorial using Scale 75 Soil Works, the natural pigments for terrain and also the Soil Works acrylic paste in rough texture. This actually comes in different colors. That there is Mars for the red, there's moss green, ash which looks like a dark brown black but we will see soon gypsum which looks like a stucco uh, beige color mud effect and fixa for the pigment alright so here we go so here's the fixa which actually uh, smells pretty strong but that's to um, apply mud effect we'll open that up in a moment all right, so here's the gypsum, and it looks like the gypsum, oh, see, it's a very light stucco color, but you can always change the color by adding inks and washes to, you know, to pigments and, and such, because I've done that before, and that actually works with, you know, whichever pigment you use, no matter what brand. Ash. All right, so that's a gray black, so that photo it doesn't have any brown in it. okay, well, at least at least we know that's why we're here. So that's good to know. Moss green. It's a bright green. Oh, that's a nice one. That could be good for you know things like patina, mold, things like that. It's about the same color as the secret weapon green one that I have. I have like pigments from like a lot of different companies and Mars. All right, so this is a color I definitely do not have that I can think of anyway in way of pigments. Well, there I do have all the rust ones from Secret Weapon, but this one seems like a brighter red than the ones I got. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's nice and bright right there. I got to admit, I like that. I like that one a lot. I like it a lot. Not effect. Let's see what that looks like when you open it up. All right, so it basically looks like Elmer's glue. I do not see any Elmer's glue, basically. Um, and then the pigment fixer we know is clear. Um, the reason why um, I accidentally made some of this leak, so that's why some of it's gone. So that was my fault um, from when I was traveling. So, but it basically, let me smell it. So it basically smells like thinner and and there are different uh, other different things that you can use in order to apply pigment onto whether it's base terrain or what have you you if, fixer isn't the only thing but you know when you're a beginner and you're just starting out it's just easier to have the whole set accessible to you uh, there are people who use uh, alcohol there are people who, you know isopropyl alcohol to be more specific don't use like your your vodka and your, and your bourbon that would just be terrible um, and there are people who use uh, medium, glaze, glaze medium, uh, matte medium, gloss medium. It really all depends in the end what kind of effect you want. All right, so this here, the effect summary, seeing if this folds more or not. Okay, and this is shown in one, two, three, four, four languages. And here's English right here. The grill is painted using Mars pigment fixer mix we get is a rusty look so that's showing that there and it's showing other ways that you can use so it's basically like a guide now with the fixer here I'm not exactly sure why they're showing it to look like it well I mean how many different ways can you show clear I guess right but but yes yeah, so that's what that looks like started with the paste it's the rough texture paste all right let's see what that looks like all right, you can definitely see that there's texture to it. Let me smell it real quick. All right, see the smell is not that strong. <laughs> not like the mud effect. Almost maybe thought I was gonna get high off of that. It's pretty crazy. Um, but still, looks like it's gonna be pretty fun stuff. So you're definitely gonna have to mix it. Uh, I basically feel like a fine texture of you know a fine sand texture. So it really doesn't feel all that. 
All right, peeps, let's have some fun with this stuff, shall we? Now, uh, first of all, what I did was I have some bases. I'm not really going to be using these for anything that I know of, so I figured these would be good to use. I just have this paper here just so that I have something to doodle on or stuff pours on, on here. It's not going to matter. I have these little cups uh, that I got from a party store. We use these for the airbrush station. They're just two little two ounce cups. I got them on clearance. It was like two dollars for a bag of like you know a couple of hundred of them or whatever. And then uh, also I have here just one of my old beat up uh, brushes. This is the uh, Games and Gears brushes from that first Kickstarter that happened. Basically, admittedly, these are all pretty much my uh, junk brushes. You want to either use junk brushes that you don't care about, like I said, or you want to end up using nylon brushes because the you know doing pigment related stuff it's gonna really mess up your brushes. So you don't want to use your good ones for that, and that's the truth right there. So if you want, we can start off by messing around with some fixer. I have water behind here, you know, behind the camera too, so that way you see got some fixer here. So if you want, just so that we can test out and have some fun. we got some pigment on here. Look at that. Got some green. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but I'm just trying to give you an idea, show you the color. It's a nice green. That's definitely going to be good for patina. Like, I knew it would, it would, you know, just looking at it, you know, green's usually good for a patina with bronze and stuff like that, but that's definitely going to be good for that and mold, algae, things like that. And here is the black. Oh, still have some green on here. I have so many different th things, that, you know, that I can use with pigments, you know, in way of, like, I don't even really need the fixer, but this is just so that you see how it works. So now that you have the basic idea, you see we have here some black, some green. That's how it looks together now that it's on my finger. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Now, let's say we have some fun with the mud effects to start. Here's our base that we're not going to really do anything with. Doesn't really seem like you have to shake it, but I just wanted to do it to be sure. All right. Now, I have a toothpick here with me so that I can mix it. This is like really, so I can show you too, this is like really thick Elmer's glue. So while there's no texture in it, I guess basically the idea is so that you can make the texture yourself, manipulate it the way that you want to. Now, from what I understand, you can mix the pigment with the mud effects, mix the pigment with the texture paste, and that's what we're going to experiment with today. So just for experiment's sake, here's a little bit of the mud effect. And I'm going to put it in this spare little cup, because that's what you want to do. You don't want to mix it right on the base right away. You want to do it in a little cup something you know or on a separate palette you know something something separate so that way you don't ruin your piece that you that you're working on whatever it may be so mud effect mixing in the cup there with the mars dirt so far so good no one's going to die here Oh, see, okay, yeah, that mix is good. I mean, you got to keep mixing it and mix it well, but when you do, you see how it... That's not bad. And then you scoop some out, and you're like, all right, good enough for government work, right? Sorry, I'm going to shake stuff. And so, like I said, basically, your objective should just be, because, you know, you have to manipulate texture into it. So I'm just going to sit there with... You can do it with the brush too, but in this case, because I have the toothpick already in my hand. Wow, that makes nice and smooth. Look at that. And then if you want, you can even leave it like that, that color, 
and then you can, you know, dry brush highlight, you know, add wash when it dries, whatever you want. So that, that's pretty cool, huh? All right. How about we do another one just, just for fun? But we're not going to use the mud effects this time. This time, we are going to mess around with this rough paste because I am curious now. I want to know what the deal is here. So, here's the paste toothpick or, you know, a small stick, you know, a skewer thing left over from barbecue, whatever you want. And you want to mix it. You want to mix it real good. And from what I understand, this is something else that you can mix with the pigments. And we're going to find out. How about we do it with... Um, maybe we'll do it with some green and some gypsum. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, take another cup. You, messy cup, go away. So for experiment's sake, we're just going to do a little bit. Yeah, see, you hear that sand texture there? You hear that? There you go. There you go. Oh, that looks good. All right, that's a good amount right there. Let me put you aside. Start with the green. Because green's a fun color. I like green. Purple's my favorite, but green is a color that you can have... A lot of fun with. You can do lots of things with. All right, so I got green pigment with this rough texture paste, and I'm mixing. Again, you can use the butt of a brush, you know, a junk brush, leftover skewer. In this case, I'm using a toothpick because it's in my hand. It's late at night, and this is what I got. Oh, see, that mix is really good. Look at that. And you got to mix real good to make it nice and smooth. Look at that. So we're going to pretend that I have like a little spatula or something. Oh, look at my pretend spatula. Look at me go. Oh, look at that. with the rough texture paste mixed with that green. That's not bad, huh? How about just for fun, let's do that gypsum because I'm I'm curious about how this how this gypsum looks. And this time I'm going to use my funky brush. The funky brush. Use the funky brush. Let's do it a little bit. That very light color, really nice color though, I have to admit. Seems to be a lot of different things you can do with that one. So it's basically, and that's probably one of the reasons why they put that color in there, so that you have leeway to add stuff to it if you want. So here's the gypsum. You notice it looks a little off-white. You know what, just for fun, you know what I'm going to do? Watch this. I'm going to add some of this in it. How about that? Let's, 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 just, go, let's just go crazy here, huh? And then, you know what? I, I want to add the black, too. I'm going to do that. Because we're just we're here to have fun. I don't know about you, but we're here, I'm here to have fun. So we're going to put some black. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Go crazy. Do something different. Because, you know, natural earth and, you know, when you're doing terrain and it's it's not all one color, right? Oh, look at that. That's like terracotta right there. So when you mix moss and the gypsum, that makes that nice, that's a nice terracotta. And that's even in spite of the fact that I added the black to it. Look at that. I know, it's all bunching up on this junky brush that I have, but at least we get the idea on what we're doing here. So now we're going to pretend that I have a spatula, which I don't, I know, but we're going to pretend. Look at that. And I, because I'm using the brush, I know you got to sit there and you got to work it in a little bit, but at least you get the idea. Look at that. See, that was totally by accident, discovering that terracotta 
Look at that. See that? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of what we did here today. But anyway, for right now, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it as I go along. I'll be sure to share some more stuff with you guys. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at mhmpropainting at gmail.com. Also, be sure to check out www.metalheadminis.com. And thank you very much for spending time with us tonight. Have yourselves a good night. <laughs>